So nowadays you hear about guys, you know, hunting over in that country and they're always looking over their shoulders for grizzly bears. Mm -hmm. And it seems like every year now there's an attack over there. Somebody gets eaten or attacked or something. Was it, what was the grizzly bear situation like back then elk hunting? And Well, you know, up in the Grovant, when I guided up there, there was no grizzlies there. They pretty well, you know, eradicated them there. But I came back from the, the army. I spent two tours overseas. I came back and I guided for Abercrombie, who had a hunting camp in the Buffalo, which is uh, Teton Bridger Wilderness. And I guided that fall for him, and that'd be like 72. And that was the last year that they had grizzly bear, and it was a draw. And that was uh, the last year they hunted grizzlies. And, and the reason I know kind of about it is Abercrombie, Jerry Abercrombie is his name, he had a permit. And I knew another uh, guide, Bill Townsend, had a permit. And Bill did kill one up Pacific Creek. And Abercrombie never killed one. And I, I hunted there for 45 days, maybe 50 days in the wilderness up there, where right now there is grizzlies everywhere. I saw one grizzly one morning, and man, when he saw me, he turned and went the other way. There was absolutely hardly any grizzly in the wilderness compared with now. So back then in the 60s, I mean, they're hunting them over the counter, right? Over the well, if you saw a grizzly, you shot it just like a black bear, oh. but I don't, re I don't remember anybody in the 60s except Keith Stelson's brother did shoot one in like 59, 1959, killed one in Black Rock, which is up by Togety Pass, when he was actually trapping. Huh. But I don't recollect anybody killing a grizzly in the 60s. Interesting, so they just didn't um, have the run-in. No, they didn't, they have, didn't have the run-in. Now, I, there probably was somebody that, that did, and I think over here, where I live over here in this country, I talked to some of the old timers and, and they, they would kill grizzlies over here, but they're closer to the park here than, than we were over there, you know, like in the wild, uh, Bridge of Wilderness. Yeah. But, you know, right here where I live, I get grizzlies, they walk up and down my road. Yeah, we saw the sign down there. You have grizzlies every year on your road. Oh you? yeah, I have them in my yard. I mean, particularly in the spring and the fall, I go around the corner of the house, I look around before I just walk around. I can tell you, well, I got stories for some other time about grizzlies, but I, you know, I, I'm used to them. I know how to, you know, live with them. Most guys don't, and most guys are really scared of them. I'm, you know, cautious, but I'm not scared of them. You're right, I see these guys, they won't get off their horse when they're hunting and all kinds of stuff because they're so scared of grizzlies. You know, we're like you. We have a history of hunting over generations. And I hope you really enjoyed this. And you might want to consider subscribing to our YouTube channel so you don't miss any of this stuff.